What's up guys? Welcome to the bootcamp. I'm very happy that you decided to enroll to this course in order to boost up your level in process simulation. I'm pretty confident that this course is going to help you to get those little details that you might be lacking on your process simulation. Okay, so why the bootcamp? I decided to do this bootcamp because I think many of you who have taken my courses before have asked me more on the trying to form more processes. They want to know more on how to model real life processes rather than knowing how to model one unit or maybe model one flash or model a reactor. They want to see the whole picture. They want to model all the process, recycling, the purge, if there is distillation or separation, preheating, what type of utilities or even dynamic and other type of control. So yeah, this bootcamp is for you guys. This is directly works on. We're not going to see that much theory as we have been doing before. Yet, I'm going to be explaining you what are we using, with what type of menus are we using, and especially what's happening with the process and why are we going to model this specific process with this part right here. For instance, I'm going to have the problem statement always stated as a normal problem without the intent of a simulation and once we have the process the main idea is to bring the process into the simulation okay so that's the let's say this part we're going to have to bring a text into a real life simulation okay so i prepared 12 case studies we start with section number one which is just chemical processes we get to know after plus how to interact between each of the components, the physical property environment, the simulation environment, how to use the flow sheet, some tricks on the flow sheet, and so on. Then we continue with the next part, which is process analysis, one of my favorites, because once you have the process, or the status quo, or the presented process, what you want to do is, what can I do in order to improve this process? And what if I need some uh, specification to uh, apply or one specification for my product? How can I change, let's say, or what will happen if I change the temperature or the heat duty, the number of stages in a column, or maybe what happens if I go for, let's say, a separator rather than a flash or so on. So we're going to do that. There are three main tools that we will be using, the sign specification, optimization and my personal favorite sensitivity analysis which is essentially a study which runs a lot of simulations without you personally running them on regarding temperature pressure of a certain part of the process and typically versus another property of analysis okay and then we go to the next section which is rigorous models as the name implies we're going to be using rigorous uh, unit operations so typically we go from the heater and we convert it to a heat X and not only that we go into the rigorous part in which we select that we want to model this as a shell and tube uh, heat exchanger or maybe plate exchanger and so on regarding the columns we're going to be working with columns internals maybe we're interested on working more on the tray separation on the tray efficiency maybe you want to change type of trays or maybe even change from trays to packings you want to change the approach of fluting in order to calculate the diameter or the height of the column and so on. A lot of pressure profiles, temperature profiles we can be analyzing. And then the final section, I like it more because it's not that much into the process. We're going to be analyzing plant economics, how to add utilities, how to add cost of streams and so on. Then we're going to go in the final case study and do some dynamic simulations, which is nothing more than converting Aspen simulation into an Aspen dynamic simulation. And then from here, we, what we are going to do is see how the variables are, how well they are responding, and if we can optimize the tuning of such controllers. Okay, so guys, once again, welcome to the course, and I'm really happy that you decided to take this bootcamp. See you in the next lecture.